everybody. I'm out checking fields. Um, it's getting close to harvest time, but I'll start showing you the progress. I think if I zoom in, yeah, right center screen there are the new packing sheds you can see from the Oregon side over here. Um, sorry, not packing sheds, the storage sheds. Um, what I'm doing is I'm out checking sizes. You can see something when we're in an onion field. One of the signs that the field is getting close to done is when the tops start to lay down. Now, if you look in most of this field, pretty much everything's still sanding. But if you look right here, they're just starting to come down, right? And what a lot of our varieties will do, this variety in particular is a, a, Spanish, a Spanish variety, um, and it will size dramatically once the tops go down. So that's a good sign. That's a good sign. We're getting close. It's trying to decide when to do it. I just was talking to Jake on the phone, and um, we got to figure out when when the day is, when the official start date's going to be. Now, if I come down, I'll show you the size profile. Like on some of these, this one's got a nice gap here, so it's a little bit um, of a misrepresentation of what the sizing is going to be. But roughly, you got a three and three quarter inch onion. That's a colossal. Um, let me get to where the population's a little better right here. You know, we're going to see. And this one that's likely a medium that's right in front of me, about a two and a quarter inch onion. Yeah, that's right at two and a half inches. So this field's getting close. Um, if we go this early, though, um, we'll give up a lot of yield to do it. And so it's kind of a, you take an educated guess, you take, make some projections on what the market is and which customers need, and then uh, you go from there. One other thing that's worth looking at is... Uh, from a um, pesticide or an herbicide application, a pesticide in this case, um, thrips, onion thrips. Let me show you what they do. Onion thrips are just little insects. They get on these onions and you see these little lesions right here. You see that damage where my finger is? And it's all over this onion, it's, it's here. And what that does, it's another cool thing on an onion is the wax. See that? They, you get this nice natural wax they put on them. It's kind of cool. Anyway, I'm shining that up so you can see a little better. If I get in here, you can see those little spots. That's thrips damage. And what it does is it damages the cell. And then it can't photosynthesize as well as uh, if it didn't have that damage. And if you let a field just run rampant with thrips, it will it'll severely, severely impact your yield. Now, while I'm here and I'm this close to the onions, I'm going to try and do something that's a little challenging. I want to show you what the onion thrips look like. And the onion thrips traditionally stay right here in the center of the onion. They're going to stay right here where they're protected and they go down inside the neck a little bit, just a little couple layers in, because they don't like um, coming out and getting exposed um, to the elements. So they'll, they'll stay in there and then at night when it cools down, they'll come out. But um, let me see if I can get in here. Hopefully I'm not making you sick moving everything around. And these, these are really clean right now, these plants. Not much in them. Um, the farm managers, Jake's done a really good job. Sorry, I know you're not seeing anything. I'm trying to actually find a thrip for you. I can see one little thrip right on the tip of this right here. I'm going to zoom in. Let you see what that little bugger looks like. Right there. I see him moving around. That little itty-bitty bug does all of this damage and can just decimate a field. So something that we constantly fight against. In fact, the little guy ran away already because he didn't like being exposed to the light. Um, it's not uncommon to see 30, 40, 50, up to 70 of those little bugs, um, those onion thrips, in a field. If you let it get away, there's also something called... Um, uh, iris yellow spot virus and that can just totally destroy a whole field and that's exactly what it is it's a virus that's brought over from um iris plant or uh yeah the iris flower bulb it's brought over and is also contagious to the same allium variety that onions are and, and just wreaks havoc on everything anyway uh field's getting close probably seven to ten days from harvest maybe 10 to 14 days from harvest but we're getting close so we're excited. Here's your update for you. Um, I'll try and share some more a little bit later. Thanks.